Hello, my name is John Thuma. Today we're going to go over Astro Analytic Learning Series and extract sentiment. And this is basically how you would extract sentiment in Aster. So with that said, this comes to us from the genre of text analytics that are native to uh, Aster. And about this, it's basically the ability to gauge someone's happiness or their anger or their positive or negative or neutral feelings or sentiment um, against a data structure. So those data structures could be things like tweets or Facebook posts, or they could be surveys, they could be call center notes and emails and you, know, you name it. Um, use cases would be for reputation management and being able to do analysis against surveys. Uh, to be able to gauge real people's feelings about a product and or service, um, to look at call center notes, um, and then use that as a churn prediction data point. Um, a fun fact about this is that uh, if sentiment analysis is a very subjective thing, meaning it's not always right, um, you know, just if, even if it were 100% right, human beings would still doubt that answer by at least 20%, so we're naturally skeptic as people. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so a little bit about how a Aster does sentiment analysis is basically you have two methods. You have a dictionary method and you have a classification model. And what this part is, and this is not in scope for today, is that I'm able to train my own sentiment classification model and then just use that in the extract sentiment model instead. Today we're going to go over dictionary, which is just basically a set of words. We have some input data that's going to be from Twitter, and then we're going to get our output data right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at our input data. So this is our data input, and this comes from, we bought some uh, data sets from GNIP, and it's made up of these fields. And you have a global unique identifier as the first column, and then you have a t-date, and this is just the date of the tweet. A URL is the tweet uh, author of the, their URL on Twitter. Uh, their comment is at their actual Twitter message or their tweet that they're actually making. And then the author is the person, the Twitter account of the tweet, and this is their actual real name. And we're going to protect these things just to keep, uh, keep that uh, PII safe. Um, the location of the tweet, where the geolocation is, um, how many posts they've had at that moment of that tweet, how many followers and how many people are they following is contained in this data set. So let's go ahead and get going here. So this is the actual sentiment statement. So as you can see here, I've got to create table as uh, public.esgnip tweets. What that means is that I'm going to take the output of my actual extract sentiment statement and I'm going to put it into this table so I can keep my data set. Um, select star from extract sentiment it works just like any other aster SQL map reducer SQL graph function. So um, this is the actual name of our SQL MapReduce function, and I have these predicates down here. So what this is saying is on public GNIP tweets, that's the name of my input source, and I've color-coded this thing so you can see how it relates to my um, predicates down here. My text column is the predicate that I tell it to look at the comments field up here in my GNIP tweets table. So that's the actual column we're going to use to judge our sentiment against, to run our sentiment against. We're going to use a model dictionary, which is basically, uh, it's just a dictionary from WordNet that we've put into uh, Aster. Um, it's resident on this system. And um, we're going to go to the level of document. We could have gone to the level of a sentence, which is, would be um, an element of a document. And then we're going to accumulate our GUID field from up here and our comments field in our output. So we're just going to say, hey, bring these along with us from the inputs and put this in the output of the field. So that's it. Um, that's all it takes to really run a sentiment analysis with Aster. It's fairly simple. And this is what the output looks like. So you can see here, we've got these color-coded fields, and this is the table from Aster. And I've got a, a GUID column and a comments column. These are from the accumulate predicate, and those are carried over from the source. So I can now look at those and see how they related to um, the, the actual uh, sentiment polarity and things like that. So you can see this uh, this field right here is the positive or negative or neutral. This is the actual sentiment that was used uh, to to as an output. And then the out strength, this is basically a confidence level. A zero is neutral, a two is strong, a stronger than a one, and a one is weaker than a two, but, but stronger than a zero. And then these are the out sentiment words, and these are the words from the dictionary that are contained within my comments that help to derive this out polarity and this out strength. So that's pretty much it. Um, now, I can allow you to do this to yourself. Uh, you can actually run this in Aster Express or on an Aster appliance if you want to. So you create your table here, and I've actually um, limited our, table, our table's data set so that I can protect the privacy of those people. And then I have to go down to, to step two is on the next page. It was just too big to put on this slide. Um, and then here's your actual extract sentiments, your statement. Um, and then here's your results, so you can take a look at that. And then here is your 
uh, step two in populating the table. So let's go ahead and take a look real quick at our um, actual, this is just to prove that it's running. So here's my table. You can see here's my data from my table right here. And then I've got my results of my uh, sentiment analysis right here, which was executed from this statement right here. So that's it. That includes our, concludes our uh, sentiment analysis video today. See, it's fairly simple and easy to do, and I hope you enjoyed this. Have a happy, happy day. Thank you.